welcome to preschool today. I welcome you today to preschool class and sing this song for you. It's fun to be in preschool with me and I'm happy that you came too. Well, welcome to preschool today, guys. Today is a new day. Do you know what today is? Well, I'll give you a clue. Yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday, so that means today is Thursday. Did you say Thursday? This is today. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. What day is today? What day is today? Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, boys and girls. So do you remember the song that I taught you yesterday? The seven days are in a week, right? So let's start with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week. I have to sing it quiet. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week. I have to sing it loud. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week. I have to sing it sad. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week. I like to sing this song. Good job. All right, I hope you were singing with me. When I sing my songs, I don't want to sing them by myself. So you need to sing them with me, okay? All right, let's do our other days of the week song. Do you guys remember? With my orange poster. All right, ready? Oh, we got to start with the claps. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, here's your days of the week questions. If today is Thursday, what day was yesterday? I gave you this answer at the beginning of class, didn't I? Yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. All right, here's the next question. If today is Thursday, here's today. What day is tomorrow? What day is tomorrow? Boop, here it is. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. Friday is the last day of the week. So tomorrow is our last day, huh? All right, let's do our scripture. Okay, Miss Kaylin will say it first. Are you ready? Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Please repeat with me. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I hope you're learning that better and better every time we say it. That's a really good scripture to remember, huh? Because it helps us remember that we want to be sharing our testimony everywhere we go and that everyone on the earth deserves to learn about Jesus Christ and how he came to earth to save us all. So it's important when we have scriptures in our minds and in our hearts, it helps us to be brave when we need to share our testimony. Sometimes sharing our testimony can be scary but the scriptures teach us it's important to do. So we just need to keep that in our heart. And remember, we're gonna preach the gospel or share our testimony with every creature. It's important to learn. All right, let's do our months of the year. Here's my months of the year. 
and there's 12 of them, so we have to get through the whole song so we can remember all 12 of them. Are you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. One more time. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Twelve months are in a year. Miss Kaylin sang it differently the first time, didn't I? I learned it differently. The, I, I know two different ways to sing it. So sometimes I sing it one way and sometimes I sing it another and that doesn't make it very easy for you to know what I'm gonna do. So I will try to be a little bit better and remember, 12 months are in a year. All right, do you remember the story I told you yesterday? The story about the little red hen. This is another storybook. I have a lot of different ones. But today I wanna to tell that story to you again. And I'm going to use my flannel board pieces. So follow along with the story and see if you can remember how it went. This is the story of the little red hen. Once upon a time, there was a dog. Woof, 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 woof. And a duck. Quack, 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 quack. And a pig. <laughs> and a little red hen that all lived together on a farm. One day, the little red hen found a grain of wheat lying on the ground. Look what I found, she said to the friends. I will plant it in the earth. Who will help me? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. So she found a patch of dirt and she scratched and scratched and scratched at that dirt and she planted the seeds. Then she said, who will water it with me? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And so she did. She watered the earth and waited for the wheat to grow. The sun shone and the wheat grew tall and straight. Here's our wheat. Oh, she said, who will harvest this lovely wheat with me? Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. So she picked that week and she put it in her basket. Who will help me take it to the mill to be ground into flour, asked the little red hen. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. So she took that wheat to the mill to be ground into flour. The miller ground that wheat into a fine white flour. Oh, she said, who will help me make this flour into dough? <gasps> Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. So the little red hen said, I will do it myself. She mixed and mixed that flour into a warm yeasty dough. Now it's time to bake this dough, she said. Who will help me bake this dough into a loaf of bread? Oh, not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Well, then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. So let's put that bread in the oven. It's going to get nice and toasty. Oh, and then it was all finished cooking. And immediately the duck and the pig and the dog said, what's that delicious smell? Well, it's my loaf of bread, she said. Oh, it's delicious. I would love to have some. Can I have some? Me, 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 I want some too. And the little red hen said, you didn't do the work. 
so you cannot receive the blessings. These three farm animals learned an important lesson this day, that we cannot receive the blessings if we do not do the work. The end. All right, that little red hen, she sure did a lot of work to have that warm loaf of bread. Have you had homemade bread before? I love homemade bread. It's so warm when it comes out of the oven and it smells so delicious. I like to put um, butter on it and then the butter gets nice and melted. And I like to put some honey on it too. It makes it a little bit sweet. Mmm, maybe I should make some warm bread for myself tonight. Just talking about it is making me want some. All right, one more thing we're gonna do. We should probably say our alphabet today since I don't think we said it yesterday. So let's turn around and we're gonna point to our alphabet and I want you to say them with me while I point to them. All right, here's our alphabet. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, C. There's all of our alphabet, 26 whole letters, all there. And we are learning about this one right here, do you remember? Here's this letter. The letter F says <laughs> So today when you do your ABC workbook, you're gonna work on your letter F. Make sure that you can recognize it and you know what it sounds like. For today's activity, we, you're gonna need these pages, okay? We're gonna play the game Feed the Pig. And here's my hungry pig. Okay, I'll go over to the table and I'll show you how to do it. You need to cut out your corn pieces. So you're gonna have 10 pieces of corn and then you're gonna cut out your number pieces too. So you have 10 numbers. Now let's go over to the table and I'll show you how to play this game. All right, here are my game pieces. I have my pig. You should probably give your pig a name. He's so cute, huh? So give your pig a name for fun. And then I have my numbers all cut up into pieces and I have them turned upside down, although I didn't really print it on heavy paper so you can kind of see those numbers. And then on this side, I have my pieces of corn. Now I'm gonna feed my pig this corn and here's how you play the game. When it's your turn, you're gonna pick a number. You can close your eyes and pick any number and then turn it around. And this is telling me I need to feed the pig three pieces of corn. So I'm gonna go over here to my corn and I'm gonna pick out one, two, three. Now I fed my pig three pieces of corn. Then you get to take them all off and you can play again. And then turn this one over, take it off of your page. And then I like to put it over here because I've already done it and I wanna go through all of these. So then I close my eyes again and I'm gonna pick this one right here. What is this number? This is the number one. So now I have to find one piece of corn and feed my pig one piece of corn. Okay, so you can keep playing this game over and over again as much as you're having fun to feed that pig as many corns until, he's, until all of these are all gone. And if they're all gone and you wanna keep playing, then you can keep playing it again and again. All right, my friends, that is the end of our lesson today. So I need you to go, and again, you're gonna feed that pig all the corn to make its tummy nice and full, and practice looking at your numbers. You're gonna be able to recognize what do the numbers look like, and then you can count that many pieces of corn. It's a good way to practice your numbers. And then I want you to also do something to help you practice the letter F, okay? You need to practice writing it and listening to it. So if you do your ABC notebook, do something for the letter F. All right, guys, happy Thursday, and we'll see you again tomorrow.